What's up everyone, Danny Lightning back with another Warbots video today. We're going to be looking at the new Manny Pilot, which is actually really cool. We got the new nuclear amplifier modules. We're going to show you guys how to get over 200% more damage with the new pilot, the modules, the right drone setup. And we're also going to be doing something really awesome at the end of this video. I'm on the Battle Rec account and Pixonic sent me 30,000 of these gold coins and 20,000 of the silver. So at the end of this video, we're going to open 30,000 gold coins. So these 200 chests, we're going to open 30,000 gold coins worth of these 200 chests and see the odds of what we pop out. And I'm going to tell you, I already did the opening. So much nice stuff popped out of here. It wasn't even funny. I have another video where I'm going to be doing the opening 20,000 of the silver coins and a lot of nice stuff popped out of there as well. So let's go ahead and explain to you guys how to get that 200% damage and then we'll come back and get the, uh, get the coin opening at the end of the video. We'll also do some gameplay with this setup with the 200 some percent damage and see how it works out. All right, so first the Manny Pilot, they don't explain this very well. It's very vague on the description. So we know we're at least gonna get a 16 and a half percent damage bonus out of this, possibly more. So you get an initial 1.5% damage off the bat. And every time you lose 10% durability, you're gonna get another what I believe is probably 1.5. It doesn't say what the additional bonus is. So it's probably 1.5. So by the time you're, you've lost 90% of your health, you're getting about 16.5% durability from this. Now, what it doesn't tell us if this stacks or how many times it stacks. Is there a limit to the stacks? Because if you heal back up and you lose more health, is this going to continue to stack that 1.5% on? I don't know, maybe, but we know we're at least going to get 16.5% out of this, possibly more, depending on how that works. All right. So next, we're going to move over to the new modules. Now, every time you do 20% thousand damage to an enemy you're going to get an additional one percent damage and that stacks 80 times so you can get up to 80 percent more damage from running one of these now if you run more than one of these all right it'll stack faster but you'll never get more than the 80 percent damage also the cool thing is it'll repair a hundred thousand durability once you get to a full stack and give you another 20 percent extra defense mitigation which means you'll your rep weapons will ignore some of the damage resistance like if you're fighting a titan that's great if you're fighting like a finrare that's great that'll be a really big help so you can get up to 80 percent more damage with this now if you get the right type of drone I've got two chips on here. Each one of these does 35% more damage, right? So that's 70% more damage if you can find a drone with two of these triangle slips and get gold chips in there. I've also got a freeze chip. So if you run freezing weapons or a freeze chip, that can be an additional 20% damage on top of that. So that's like 90% more damage. All right, 90% more damage from this drone setup right here because i got two of these damage chips and a freezer chip so that's huge guys that's another 90 percent right there and if you decide to run a death mark that's another 20 percent along so that's a huge amount of damage guys that that adds up to at least 200 and 206.5 percent damage guys and possibly more depending on how the mani pilot works so I've got this set up on the Demeter. We're going to go do some gameplay. We're going to try it out. We'll do a couple clips of the Demeter. And then we'll get into that big, huge, giant unboxing. Just so you guys can see the odds and see how much, you know, if it's worth it to you to get a bunch of those coins or not to try and open those chests. But if you want to run two of those overdrive units on in one nuclear amplifier, that's going to give you an additional 50%. So now you're up to 250 plus any pilot skills that you get. So that can be pretty crazy. If you're using it on a Hawk or a Fafnir, their built-in weapon is going to do even more damage. So who knows how much you're going to get up to if you're running a Hawk or a Fafnir when their built-in special weapon is doing all that crazy amount of damage, especially to a Titan or whatever. All right, so we're going to grab our Demeter. We're going to grab the drone that has the extra damage. And I'm not running the Death Mark, and I'm not running the two additional overdrive units. 
All right, we're, we're gonna get around 205% more damage here. Maybe a little less because I'm not using that, but who knows what the Manny does, honestly. The Manny will probably get us somewhere between 15 and 20% more damage if everything works out right. All right, we're gonna go ahead and uh, teleport into the center to back up our beacon runners. Let's grab these beacons. All right, we're gonna try and shred this guy. I don't wanna hit him, he's underneath the map. Don't target guys we can't shoot, you know what I mean? Let's try and tear this guy up. All right, we're almost frozen. As soon as he comes out of that last stand, we're gonna rock that dude. Oh yeah, he's dead. He's dead. Um, let's see, let's see. Let's go after this dude. I'm gonna go ahead and hit my healing module. We're gonna try and freeze him up. All right, that's doing great damage. There's a Fenrir, he's gonna be hard to take out, so. Hey dude, come here, come here, get in the healing circle. All right, stay in the healing, right? So we're losing some health, and we're gonna start doing some real good damage here in a minute. I'm gonna try to retreat, because there's like a thousand of them and one of me. So look how fast we're burning up that Fenrir so far, guys. It's working so good, too. It's working so good. We're gonna go ahead and uh, drop down here. Let's go ahead and heal up my teammates. Oh yeah, we got that beacon. So now we're in their spawn point. So as soon as these guys spawn in, let's see how fast, holy goodness gracious, that was burning that shell up like crazy. Look at that. All right, he's got a shell. He's got a shell and we're just, we're just whomping on that guy. So yeah, I can tell you this is doing nuts, nutso damage right here. <laughs> nutso damage. We're gonna feed these guys a big old crap sandwich. Let's hit the healing module in the healing. As soon as he comes out of that stealth, we're gonna try and burn his butt off, right? Dang! Dudes, that's crazy. Oh my god. That is nasty damage. Nasty damage. Can I hit that guy? Probably not. Nope. Let's go ahead and use our healing thing. Let's go ahead and use our healing here. Let's take him out real quick. I can't hit those guys, unfortunately. Oh, shell smashed me up. Anyways, that did big old Boku damage right there. That was nuts. Nuts. All right, so we showed you guys one good battle. I'm getting matched up with the absolute worst teammates today. This time of day, nobody's playing anything but Beacon Rush. Like, Team Deathmatch, 15-minute waits at 5 a.m. my time. So, anyways, we're going to go ahead and... uh. We're going to go ahead and just go into the unboxing. You got to see one battle where that thing was doing crazy damage. So let's go ahead and do the unboxing. I'm running out of time here. You know, I've, I've done four or five battles so far, and my team just... I'm getting matched up with the worst teammates. We do a beacon match. They run to the back corner. They don't grab any beacons. Next thing you know, the enemies have five beacons, and the game's over in a minute and a half. I'm not kidding. If you're playing beacon modes, guys, you got to get the beacons. You don't run into the back corner and stand there, okay? All right, so what we're going to do to save time is we're going to open 10 of these at a time. So let's go ahead and get to it. All right, so 31,000 coins. Let's see what kind of stuff we get out. It'll be interesting to see how often the good stuff pops out of here. So I see a couple weapons in here that are possible to get. All right, so we're just going to go ahead and randomly choose some of these to open so we just got one full weapon there lots of components all right all right so that's what we got we got one full weapon out of it so far on 10 openings and a lot of components so we also got sharenga all right boulevard and crit uh Bulov, Bulov, oh my god, whatever, and the Kristen. <laughs> so those were the three guaranteed prizes right there. So 10 openings got us all three guaranteed prizes. That's not too bad, really, if you think about it. All right, so let's go ahead and open 10 more. And we're going to go ahead and randomly pick some of these. Ah, oh, I see there's a chance to get some really nice stuff out of this one. We'll see if I happen to choose the good ones. All right, we got one of those incinerator we got another sharenga ooh a striker all right so this this one gave us some whoops this one gave us some good stuff all right so that's what we got can't complain too much about that honestly so 20 openings 
Let's go ahead and do this. Now we're gonna, this will be 30 openings after this one's done. And I'm telling you what, these, these high-end crates, when you do 10 at a time, they really seem to pay out most of the time. The first, the first 10 we opened did a little bit, right? The first 10 we opened did a little bit. The second 10 and the third 10 have, have some really nice stuff in there, guys. Oh, we're getting some of these crates, some strikers. I mean, this is working out really well, honestly. Check that out. We got some really good stuff out of here. Really good stuff. All right, let's open 10 more. So it seems like the odds from the bronze crate are pretty good, and the odds from the gold crate are actually pretty good. I've noticed the 100 crates. I don't know how they are this time, but normally the 100 crates have lousy odds for getting the good stuff. So we're just going to go ahead and randomly pick some of this stuff. There we got two skulls, which is cool. All right, lots of components. I mean, we got another Sharenga. That's crazy, right? All right, lots of good stuff, actually. I'm pretty happy with that. Let's go ahead and open some more. Now, I don't know how hard it is to get some of those coins, honestly. It makes me wonder how hard is it going to be to get the gold coins. I really don't know. So we're going to have to wait and see. Maybe they'll give out some, some of those during some operations for free. Maybe they won't. We just don't know. All right. So there we go. We got some weapons. I mean, this is really turning out pretty good if you think about it. Every time I do 10 of these, I'm getting a couple of weapons. All right. At least one to three to four to five good prizes every time I open 10. So, yeah. Can't complain too much, right? All right, see a lot of nice stuff in here as well. So let's go ahead and let's go all the way to the right this time. We're going to open a couple. I could open these automatically if I wanted to, but I'm going to go ahead and pick them one by one. So you don't really know which ones to pick. You just kind of got to guess. Incinerators. All right, there we go. So that's pretty decent, guys. We got a whole three whole weapons on that one and a lot of components. I mean, if you can get enough of these coins, you're definitely going to get a lot of really nice stuff. Man, look at that. There's a lot of prizes in this one. Let's see if we get any of them. Ooh, we got a striker right off the bat. Sharenga. Yeah, the gold coins, the 300s are giving out good stuff, guys. I'm telling you, they're giving out the good stuff today. Another weapon. Yeah, nice. I mean, that's pretty decent. All right, let's go ahead and open 10 more. So we're down to 15,000 coins. The amount of silver I'm going to get, like if you were to sell all this stuff, like if you kept the ones you wanted and sold the rest, the amount of silver you would get back is probably pretty crazy. I don't know how much those Titan weapons sell for, but generally these Titans and the Titan weapons sell for a lot of silver. So if you keep getting like Sharengas and you keep getting uh, Titan weapons that you don't need, because I mean, really, you don't need more than like four of each weapon, I would say. And you sell the rest, you can probably get a load of silver out of this. I bet you could get a load of silver out of this. All right, so. Moromets, there we, we finally got our Moromets, guys. It took us quite a while to get one, but one finally popped out of there. Now, I'll tell you what, that Titan is really cool, but I don't think he's for everybody. So some people are going to love that Titan. Some guys are going to hate it. I really enjoy playing it. I can't really say that it's my favorite Titan, but I do like it a lot. It's very fun to play. It's also very squishy, so you got to play it very carefully. It's not a brawling Titan at all. It's a hide in the back and pop out and damage people with your ability type of type of robot, okay? So if you if you want a brawler Titan, I don't think he's for you. He's just too squishy and dies too easily. Unless you have like a couple of Nodens or something to help keep you alive. Alright, I mean, another really good score on all this stuff. So, you can't complain too much on all the junk that's coming out of here, honestly. We're getting great results, right? Great results. All 
All right, let's see what else we get. One incinerator, a crate. We got another Sharenga. Sharengas are popping out of here like crazy. All right, so that's what we got. Pretty nice haul on that one as well. So we're, we're winding down. We got, we got about three more times we're going to be able to open some stuff here. So the, the new Titan's not popping out too often. I know a couple people, I think it was Zox, got it on the first pull, guys. So some people, there's another one. We got another one. There we go. Another Moramitzer, or whatever you call them. All right, a couple weapons there. Nice, nice. That worked out really well. All right, let's open 10 more. All right, there's another Muramitzer Titan in here as well. Striker, another Titan weapon. I mean, we're hitting the jackpot on this stuff, guys. Whoops. Another Striker, another Crate, another Sharenga. All right, so we didn't get a Muramitzer. <laughs> I know I'm saying his name is so wrong right now. I'd have to read it pronounce it correctly <laughs> I know I'm saying it crazy wrong so all right let's see let's see come on oops there we go what do we get so that time we got another Sharenga some more of those weapons I mean this is really working out pretty well so this will be our last box opening, guys. Then we're we're gonna be able to open a couple single ones after this. This will be our last ten. All right, we're gonna go ahead and go ahead and go ahead and go ahead and pick this one. Then we'll go ahead and go ahead and go ahead and grab that one and that one. Then we'll go ahead and go ahead and go ahead. And, ooh, we got another Moramitzer, right? We're just opening another one of those Titan weapons. Whoops, wrong thing. Let me click this. So yeah, we're just randomly picking these things and seeing what comes out so that's pretty good all right so now we got a we got a thousand left so we'll go ahead and open a couple of single ones till we're out of coins here oh man we got our choice of three things all right we got another more emitter so those those are popping up pretty decently actually we we got several of those things so that's that's actually working out really well I mean, those even come with weapons on them. So if you need, if you don't need the weapons that come with it, and you sell the weapons and keep the titans, even if you're getting all these titans, that's gonna be a load of silver you get back just from selling all the titans and the titan weapons that you don't need. If you can open a lot of these, I know not everybody's gonna get a whole bunch of these tokens to open these crates. I mean, some of you guys might, but I know not everybody will. All right. These may be a little bit hard to get, but yeah, really good stuff. Really good stuff popping out. All right. All right. We're out of coins. We're out of coins. So we used them all. I'm going to tell you what, we got some crazy good stuff. Let's go look at our Titan collection real fast now. And let's see how many of each of these things we got. So we got three more omits. Wow, we got one, two, three, four. Holy crap, look at all those Sharingas. So we got four more omits. We got uh, one, two, three four five six seven eight oh gosh nine ten we got ten sharengas look at all those weapons guys look at all those weapons i would be selling a load of those weapons if uh if it were my account i would sell those all off and get a whole load of silver back from that so that's crazy that's crazy and if you look at the titan weapons right what do we get we got uh We got how many of these strike? We got 25 strikers, guys. We got no, no, no. Never mind. We got 10 strikers. We got six of these bull bullovas. 
I'm probably saying that really wrong. I don't know. Let's go check out the smaller weapons. We got seven crates. We got six Kristens. So that's really a pretty good, uh, pretty good deal for us there. So anyways, that crate opening was pretty awesome. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, and we will catch you later, all right? Please remember to like and subscribe. Hit that little bell. Set those notifications to all, and we will catch you next time. Thanks.